Okay, <laughs> this is such a random way to start a vlog. But hi, what do you guys think of this dress? I know it's big for me, so we have to imagine it like cinched in a bit like this and me in heels. It's from a brand called Marquesa Notte. I don't know if I'm butchering that name, um, but I think it's so beautiful. I bought it for the ball that I went to last week that you saw in last week's vlog at Annabelle's, but it didn't arrive on time. And I have one of my really dear friends wedding next year in Rome in June. And I was thinking if I repurchase this dress in one size smaller, um, what do you guys think? But also, do I look a bit too florally? It is super long. I'd need to get it altered even when I get one size smaller. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, I am glad that I didn't end up wearing it too... Well, it didn't arrive on time. But I would, probably wouldn't have worn it, A, because it's so big. Um, but B, also, like, it's too long. And C... I don't know, I just feel like this looks more wedding guest than it does charity gala ball. So yeah, let me know what you think. And welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi. So it is 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm stuck at home because I'm waiting for a UPS delivery, actually opposite. I'm waiting for a UPS collection to come. Otherwise I really want to go to a museum. Or do something nice for those of you wondering why i'm not at work i start my training program on the 4th of october which i'm really really excited about so i decided to give myself some weeks off in september where i'm just catching up on admin work that i need to do relaxing and just taking a breather before i start a seven year training program which i think is well deserved so yeah I've just been doing so much admin work this morning and organizing my closet getting rid of things that I don't want anymore um getting putting away my summer clothes and getting out my autumn winter stuff again and putting that all in my wardrobe too so that's also been good and I'm so hungry now so I'm gonna make myself some lunch I think I'm gonna make a Greek salad I'm just walking Banksy this morning and the weather is so perfect and we're having a lovely walk. We went up to the high street because I wanted to get some storage containers for some things that I have in my bedroom that I just feel like I could put away more neatly. So I went to Tiger but they didn't have anything which is sad. So I'm going to look online, maybe on Amazon. If you guys know anywhere else, let me know. Tell me some recommendations. Survived. Top is Zara, the trousers or jeans are frame, and my shoes are Laura Piana, and my necklace is male. And I don't know what you see. Hope we feel the same. I feel So 
so I wanted to go and have some ramen in Harrods because they have a ramen bar but I didn't realise that the food court area is shut until the beginning of October which is annoying because they're refurbishing it so I went to the food hall and I got this like roll set thing one of them's lobster roll the other one's egg and truffle and the other one is prawn mayo and I'm so hungry it's like four o'clock now so Mm -mm -mm. minutes. You can still talk. This is so lovely. Thank you, Sam. I love it. Elliot, do you want to put your hand in so that I also get some footage of you? <laughs> <laughs> Morning. I have woken up about 45 minutes ago. It's 10.25. So maybe I woke up at 9.30, so almost an hour ago. And I've just washed my face, brushed my hair, brushed my teeth, and put on some joggers. And very full vibes, by the way. This is Essentials, this is Bow and Tea, this is Pretty Little Thing. And these are some Jordans I got off of Netta Porter. And I'm gonna take Banksy for a morning walk. I have my passport going back from the American Embassy at 11.45, so I need to get going because it does take me ages to walk him around. And I'm gonna grab my morning coffee. Souls come to see me apparently. <laughs> I did. And do some work apparently. <laughs> see, Banksy doesn't judge me even though I call him Rocky all the time. <laughs> so I am making myself a naked burger because I'm so hungry and it's lunchtime and I only had a coffee for breakfast. So I was just like, why not? I had these burgers in the fridge. So um, just frying it up. I didn't have any balsamic vinegar, shockingly. I can't find it. I know we have balsamic because I wanted to make caramelized onions. Um, but yeah, so I've just fried the mushrooms and the onions and then got all my like naked ingredients. Yeah. And I'll show you the end result because I feel like it's going to taste amazing. So now I just need to add my sauces. I've got the sauce shop honey chipotle barbecue. I've got some low fat mayo. And I've got some Cholula hot sauce. Welcome back! Thank you! 
back. Like, you know, I need to show the vlog my uh, gift that you got me. You're the best. You got me a gift like that as well. Hey! You're so cute. Just yesterday, the way from airport to. To lunch. <laughs> so today is Sunday and we've come for a Sunday roast at my local pub and they've had a refurb and it looks so beautiful here. It looks a bit like an IV. It looks so cute. It really does. But it looks stunning, so we're just going to have some lunch. <laughs> it does, man. We're vlogging. Yeah. yeah, say hi. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Seppi. Seppi, hello. Yeah. I'm in Seppi's vlog right now. <laughs> Just having a tonic water. And that was a fun that time of the vlog. <laughs> 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 Thank you. This is all I've been craving, you guys. So, Sina got back from Beverly Hills with my mom yesterday and she managed to score me something from Hermes that I've been wanting all summer and I get that summer's over so when you guys see this you might be like Seppi summer is over but fear not I will be going on a lot of trips this coming year because it's me you guys know me I use my annual leave to travel so fingers crossed I will make very good use out of this and I'm just so excited I can't wait to share it with you guys if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen what is in this but ah! I can't believe it. So she got really lucky to find these and they had it in her size and my size and they had it in white as well in my size but given that I already have the Kelly sandals in white I thought I don't need to also get the Chypres in white at this moment in time. So here they are. I got the black Chypres from Sina. I can't believe it. She is the best sister in the world. I don't think anyone's ever brought me such nice gifts back from holiday ever. So I'm really, really happy. They are beautiful. So these, here we go, are the black leather Chypres sandals. They're really hard to get. I would say probably try and get anything that's summery now because you'll have better luck with it. Um, she got these from California, so that's maybe why she had a bit more luck. I don't know, um, but I'm really happy with them. They're a size four and a half UK, um, which is half a size bigger than I bought my Kelly sandals in because everyone told me, including the sales associate, that I should go up half a size, and I'm really glad I did because they fit perfectly as half a size bigger. So I absolutely love them. Today is the day before I have my induction for my new job. My new job officially, officially starts next week, but I've got my trust induction tomorrow with the hospital and then I've got my like departmental induction on Thursday and Friday where they show me how everything runs and where everything is and I am really a bit, I'm going to be honest, I'm really nervous now that it's actually here. I am definitely suffering from imposter syndrome and I've done the utmost in my career to be where I am and to be able to get a London training post is like my absolute dream come true and I'm just so blessed and grateful and I need to keep reminding myself that you know you did make it and you are worthy of being here but I think it's just because I I'm a bit like I don't know what's coming next that's making me a bit more nervous um but also really really excited like this is the start of a seven year chapter for me so for those of you guys who aren't familiar with how medicine works in the UK in terms of specialty I'll give you guys a really quick run through um just so that you can understand so in England medical school is five years like that's the minimum amount that you must do at the end of that you come out with usually an MBBS which is a um, medicine bachelor and bachelor of surgery there are other like letters for it so you can get like different I can't remember what other unis do but there are some other unis that give you like a different lettering but essentially you'll come out as a doctor and then you have to complete two years of foundation training which you apply for so you apply for all the different hospitals the most competitive ones are London because obviously it's a capital city and there's not as many um, job roles as there are people who live here or want to live here um, so then you do that for two years and in the 
in your second year you're free to apply for a specialty um, so the shortest specialty is GP which stands for general practice and abroad in different countries I'm, I think you guys call it family doctor or family medicine there's three years as a specialty and the other specialties tend to be around seven to eight years. There's different routes, there's medicine and there's surgery. So what that basically means is medicine is anything that, any interventions that you can do without like doing a major operation on people and surgery are all the specialties that you do where you, you operate on people. Like there's some aspect of operations, etc. in those specialties. So medicine will include stuff like cardiology, a heart doctor, dermatology, a skin doctor, respiratory medicine, a lung doctor. And that doesn't mean they don't do like procedures that are interventional. So like a cardiologist will need to like insert a pacemaker or a respiratory physician, general medicine physician might need to insert a chest strain or a gastroenterologist will need to do endoscopies and colonoscopies. So there are procedures, but um, for surgical procedures, you fall under the surgical domain, so that's um, obstetrics and gynecology, which is what I'm doing. Um, there is trauma and orthopedics, and then there's general surgery, there's ophthalmology, um, there's there's loads of specialties on either side, medicine or surgery. And um, there's two ways to get into these specialties. Um, some programs, a lot of programs nowadays, are introducing something called a run-through training. I apply right after F1 and F2, and I go straight into a run-through training program where for the whole seven years, I'm just doing obstetrics and gynecology. Whereas for a lot of medical specialties, you have to do something called IMT, um, and that means that you need to spend three years doing general medicine so that you're very well familiarized with all aspects of medicine and their domains and then you go into your specialty for another four years. They have the equivalent of that for surgery um, where you do almost like a general training rotor in the different surgical domains and then um, from ST3 onwards you can apply to a surgical specialty and you do that for the remaining four or five years. So it's really exciting, it is really really competitive and so Sometimes when you get in, like you get your foot through the door and you get your dream post and you get it in your dream location, wherever that may be in the UK, um, it can feel really surreal because you've you've jumped through every hoop and essentially, I know you might think like, oh, you made it when you got into medical school and you passed and you became a doctor, but I think essentially it's this bit where you start to feel like you've made it or, you know, you're on the path to to reaching your goal is when you've got into the specialty that you want to do for the rest of your life. I know in different countries it's different, so some countries you don't really do anything like F1, F2 and you just go straight into your specialty training, but I feel like it's given me such a good foundation and knowledge and some of the jobs that I've done have really built me to be the strong doctor that I know I can be and broaden my knowledge. Um, for example, in A&E I got so much exposure to so many different specialties and the same with my acute medicine job every single job that I did like I learned so so much and I'm so grateful in the UK that we have foundation training F1 F2 because I do feel like it gives you so much confidence um, I know that you guys ask me so much about medicine and a lot of you guys follow me for the medicine content so if you want to see more I'm thinking of documenting my journey into fully becoming a surgeon and I hope that you guys will enjoy following me along if you want to see more of that content let me know in the comments if you want me to discuss something specific or show you something specific and I can do that let me know in the comments and I'll try my absolute best in the meantime I'm gonna go cut my nails short get rid of my nail polish and get ready for the rest of my life I know I'm being dramatic but it just does feel like that wish me luck and I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It really means so much to me if you guys do that because it shows that you are interested in what I'm posting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.